when Kuateng stood up there, he was making a declaration of class war. Yeah. The rich are going to get richer and the rest of you are going to be knackered. Everyone under £155,000, unbelievable, even trade union general secretaries don't earn that much, <laughs> is going to be poorer and everyone above it is going to be richer. Now, why is Rachel Reeves and Keir Starmer not on the telly, frothing at the mouth, saying stuff that working people are going to go, Go on, give it some, give it some. They're just not there, John. That's the problem. It's not about whether they come to the negotiating ta table saying, I'm with Mick, you know, go on, Mick, give it to him. <laughs> I'm with uh, Dave Ward. Go on, Dave, give it plenty. That's not what we want. What working people want to hear is that there is a party that's with them, that's with them when they're struggling to pay these bills, worried, must be absolutely kicking themselves, to use an old term, about how they're going to pay their rent this winter, how they're going to pay their mortgages, whether these uh, leaseholders on the right to buy schemes, one of the biggest national scandals in our history, are going to foreclose on them and start selling off their properties, which I'm hearing people in my own life are experiencing at the minute. That's where they want to see the passion, that we're going to promise to rebalance this society and redistribute wealth through all the mechanisms, some of them sat subtle, mechanisms over time in the course of a government and some of them very direct in the first uh, days and weeks of a government that's what they should be saying now when we get in we're going to be as bold and radical as they've been in the last two days on behalf of their class uh, on behalf of our people and he doesn't even have to use the word class ordinary working men and women i think the term the is working these class boy has done well exactly but he's got to be a bit more strident otherwise he's not going to win that's the problem